sound familiar? A lot of us are hitting a pandemic wall as we approach the one year mark. Our bodies and our minds exhausted and overwhelmed. We report every night on how COVID has shaken just about every aspect of our lives. And we could lay out a bunch of stats right now. People feeling more anxious, more depressed, more overwhelmed, but chances are we'd be preaching to the choir. Instead, let's tackle that wall. Tonight, advice and solutions from psychiatrist Dr. Patrice Harris. She ran the American Medical Association. But first, CNBC's Contessa Brewer on burnout and what it's doing to our bodies. Contessa. Shep, a radio host unofficially coined the phrase hitting a pandemic wall when she tweeted about burnout from nonstop work and childcare and isolation. 80,000 likes, thousands of retweets. She clearly struck a nerve. I'm beginning to feel disconnected with the world a little bit because all of my relationships and all of my conversations are via Zoom. Kim Sumter hosts the Sisters Connect podcast, but she's not connecting, at least not physically. She's desperate to get back to hugging her friends and family. I just don't know how much longer I can personally just kind of deal with what's happening. There are days where I'm just, I could use a break. And I can't have a break because we take the pandemic very seriously. Last fall, we talked to Matt Grandy and his wife, Kate, about fighting anxiety and depression and the ways the pandemic makes it harder, especially juggling jobs and young children and doing it all at the same time at home together. The routines that we have that we had set in place uh, now that it's cold out are harder to keep because we can't get outside as much. A lot of my patients are saying that they've hit a pandemic wall right now. And I think we can all relate. Um, in the North, at least, it's been cold and dark for a couple months now. And we've still got at least another month to go. Even people in sunny Southern states may feel they're living in a kind of groundhog's day. I'm reliving the same day over and over. Same day, same faces, same COVID grind. Pandemic precautions keep us from friends and family and social activities that recharge us and make us feel happier. And research shows it's especially hard on young adults, Gen Z and millennials. If you're feeling discouraged and restless, you're not alone. We know from people who live in conditions of chronic threat that it's actually pretty detrimental to your mental and physical health. When there's this sustained period of stress, it can be really challenging because we need to pivot from sort of acute crisis mode to maintenance mode to get through it. And there's there needs to be some acceptance and some really specific coping strategies to help us get through that. Who's not hitting a pandemic wall? Well, experts say it's likely easier for those who just ignore pandemic precautions because they actually might be seeing friends and family and engaging in other activities in a way that looks more like it did before COVID shut. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.